Well, Jim, welcome. I appreciate you taking the time to join us. So kind of start off with a quick, quick, easy question. How, how long have you been flying drones and what got you into the drone space? Five years I've been uh, flying drones. And uh, what happened is uh, the company I worked with, I worked with a, with a fellow who, um, who had a drone and I knew nothing about drones or really much about RC. So uh, one day at lunch, he said, hey, let's go fly my drone. And I said, okay. So he went, we went. we were in a business park that was almost like a state park. So he launched that drone. I thought it was pretty neat. And he says, well, are you going to get one? I said, eh, probably not. You know, I, have, I do other things. But he said, well, you know, we can make money with drones. And I, all of a sudden, I had some interest. And that's, um, that's when I started flying. But uh, I went from the very beginning not to do it for fun, but do it for a business. Full charge ahead, look into how to how to get it going. What's your go-to drone today? What do you fly most often today? I still have the Mavic 2 Pro. I'm looking into Mavic 3, but, you know, there are agencies that specify the Mavic 2 Pro or Ma Mavic 2. And uh, that, that kind of surprises me after, what, five years it's been out, I guess. And uh, it's still a workhorse. Now, like I said, I am looking at the Mavic 3 fairly seriously, but... I'm still able to use uh, the Mavic 2. Well, I'll tell you, we, we've interviewed probably five pilots in the last couple of weeks, and I was shocked because I Tony keeps track of you guys better than I do, but I was shocked. Uh, three of the five pilots, no, four of the five pilots that I interviewed had upgraded to a Mavic 3 Enterprise, and it's like, man, I had no idea there were that many people with a Mavic 3 Enterprise, and they were speaking highly of, about it well that would probably not be my choice at least one of the mavic 3 models i'm not quite sure which one but well, they're, they're they're gorgeous they, they look great you've been flying for f so business for business for five years what have you been how long have you been working for drone brothers three years and a couple of months uh april 13th of of uh 21 is the first thing i have in my logbook and i've kept the logbook from the very first very first flight of drones. It comes along with being a private pilot for 42 years. So, can you share what 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 are some of the kind of the benefits of working with? I know there's a lot of drone service providers out there and nationwide networks. What's what are some of the benefits of having worked for Drone Brothers for the last couple of years? And are some things that you've learned and from our team that have kind of helped you out? I had a to as many as five agencies that I was doing work for, you're always been number one. And I can tell you why. First off, your support is, is fabulous. If I have a question, boom, I can get an answer. And I can get an answer from you or Tony or anybody on your team right away. Um, there have been times when I've, there's one agency, for example, they don't have a telephone number for support. So if I'm out in the field and I have an issue, which has happened a few times, I don't know when I'll get a call back. One time it was five hours before I got an email because they don't have a telephone for us to use. But you guys are immediately on the spot. You're very professional. Um, I've learned a lot working with drone bros and uh, you're uh, you're my number one. What impact do you think drones are having in the construction industry and kind of what do you see happening in the next couple of years with drone technology and the construction space. Well, I, I think it's going to, I think it's a rapidly growing field as far as from what I can see from here. I see more and more requests for drones to do uh, volumetrics for raw materials, gravel, coal, uh, gravel, asphalt, uh, sand, that sort of thing in construction, uh, construction areas. Um, the idea of being able to show progressive uh, photos and videos uh, like we do is to me is outstanding. I mean, for people to actually be in an office somewhere with a project somewhere else using drone videos and photos, uh, I think more and more people will pay for that service once they see what it's done for, for example, uh, Cosmo and some of the other places. Last question, what advice would you have to the 65-year-old self or someone that's brand new starting in this space? Be an open sponge, especially if you're not uh, really have any experience in aviation or, or remote control drones or anything like that. Just be a, a sponge and soak up everything you can find about it. And uh, I also uh, 
got on board with everything as far as the FAA has about drones. And they have regular seminars, webinars rather, about drone flying laws, et cetera. And of course, being a private pilot, I knew a lot of it, but I still learned a lot. Uh, part two, I would say, uh, try, try and use somebody else's money instead of your own. I mean, it's okay to sell finance, but it, it'd be even better to go to a, uh, you know, have, if you don't have a, a good bit of money to invest, uh, go to a bank or something. And as far as the drone equipment, get good stuff. Don't, don't forget to get licensed to be sure and have plenty of insurance and keep a log book. And those are the three things and that I have a few, few things that I could offer because, um, you know, if anything does happen, there's a mishap or something or somebody gets hurt, the, the, uh, the log book's going to help out, especially if you uh, record all of your upgrades, the firmware, et cetera. I think that's uh, that'd be a good thing to do.